Do you have a pet shop and you want a website for a pet shop? So you have come here to the right place. So here in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this type of pet shop website using Elementor Pro Page Builder and some free plugins. Here you can see this site and if I'm scrolling down. So here you can see that the service sections with client sections and the features and drop down sections with this scroll bar top. So if I click on this scroll, so you can see the smoothly come to the page, main page. And then if I'm scrolling to this button, you can see here this is the smoothly jump over section here. So here in this video, just I'm gonna show you how to create within just create the website within 10 minutes. Just within 10 minutes, I will I will show you how to create that without any coding language or without any just any elementary skills also. Just we have just install one Premiere plan template and just customize little things and do some just customization. That's it. So without any wasting time, let's get started with the video. I'm Soma from Decrypt Academy. So first of all, I'm just show you how to just create this so as for example if i click on just changing this text color i want to change this text color so go to this text color and just changing this drag and drop this here you can see that this is change so in this way i'm just changing this text color it is so easy to use and just customizable all these things so i just at first i'm showing you the the themes which i'm used so i'm using astra theme which is free don't worry about that and then you have to just install one elementor so you just you can just install only free elementor also just all you can install elementor pro as you wish so only elementor free is enough for this so i'm just only don't use any payment plugins or paid plugins or anything paid themes so that's the themes sorry that's the plugins you can see here this is a starter template for astra that's the most important plugins or you can as you see as you can say that about this so this is the starter template you just you have to install it uh, you can see this is the install now button you you will may see this type of button i am already installed it so that's why i'm just it's show you just activate the button so i'm just closing this tab and go to this dashboard so here you can see this all the things so just click, click on the screen options just of this just click on this odoli prompts this just close this element overview site and status no just don't worry at a glance just stop this and then activity quick draft disable this disable this and disable this welcome section in sections and just drag the box here and then just cut it then you can see this type of clean overlay so that's the cool we have to use so it is so easy to just learn that's it and then i'm just closing closing this and then at first just create you can see here this is the website so at first i am just resetting the whole website from and then i'll show you how to create it from the first so go to the tool section i'm just wb reset i'm using to reset the site so i'm just typing reset and then reset this site here you go this is resetting in progress so after few seconds the all data and sites will be removed so if i'm just close this time if i'm just reloading this page again so you can see here this is nothing so after installing wordpress you will see this type of things after visiting your new wordpress site so at first just go to the appearance go to the themes then you can just already just you may see this type of extra themes also if you don't find the if you cannot find so go to the add new and then search for astra so if you search astra at the first you can see here this is the astra theme scheme so you have to just install it I'm already installed it so it me show you the activate button so i'm just activated it and then go to the plugin section go to add new and then search for elementor so if you search for elementor then you will see the elementor free plugin that is the it heritage and you have to if you want to just download or install elementor pro i'll give you in the description so download from the description the elementor that's it and then you can just install essential add-ons for elementor this is also most important plugin and you can install the elements kit this is also most important plugin for elementor then we have to just install one more plugin that is starter template so i'm already showing you in the previous so if you search for starter starter if you search for starter then you will see this type of plugin 
so you have to install this i am already installed it so i am activating it again because i am to show you how from scratch how to just create this so if you just start a template activate it after you see you can you see that a starter template and you can just visit on c library or you can visit go to the appearance and this is starter templates so i'm just go to the appearance and starter template curriculum just click on this and choose the page builder i am choosing elementor it is so easy to use anything and then click on this free and then you can you want to just um, just one page shop so just you can see here this is search bar so easy to use so just search bar just click on this page so here you can just see this is the paid services so don't just want to just import only home template or about us template separately just import complete site that's the most important thing import complete site then here's just some basic information that's it so myself and then next then you can just add your first name or email anything i just skip this so after few seconds just only few seconds so your website will be just importing importing just you can see here this is importing and this this will import all your images that's also you can just changing the images by you click on from mm, i'll show you how to create that how to create, change the images phone numbers or text anything the forms you can change everything just you have to import the site at first so this is this is completed if we import it successfully so i'm just visiting this size okay here you can see this is side is came so after scrolling down you can see here this is the full side is came this is awesome look at this it is just if i'm just go to the who we are this is the separately page and then again service page and then get in touch page and then again download app page that's it if i'm going to go to the home then you have you have just one important to do, to do things that's it go to the settings go to the general then you can see type of here you can see here just another wordpress website that is the title here you can see just another wordpress website so you can just change this title from here so if you change the title for welcome to my pet shop so it will looks more good just save changes and then go to the reading section and then static page will be home page as always then go to save changes click on save changes and then go to the permalinks this is most important you have to just select post name it is most important just click on this post name and the save changes that's it then just go to the website here you can see this is the page so i don't want to click on the page and want to page redirectly i want that if if you click on the page just click on this who are, who are we this is the menu text so we want that this is a smoothly jump over section like i am which i am just show you in the previous that's why so how to create that and here you can see this is no any hover animations or motion effects anything it is just looks nice but it is look not smoothly so that not attractive so let me show you how to create that at first i am showing you how to just change this text and everything so if you want to change the image or text at first i am showing you how to change the image so if you can see that here you can see that this is the images these are dog images so how to create change this so click on this big section go to the style tab here you can see that this is the images so here you can just upload an image and then just change it that's it and then if you just want to change the color of this text just click on this text click on this text and go to the style tab and go to the text color and change it again and just drag a drag and drop it just anything so i want to change the i don't want to change here is it then just you want to change the button color so if you just click on this button and then go to the style tab and this is the text color and this is the background color so if i'm just hovering if you hover in the, you can see here this is the green just blue type color so i don't want to do that so i'm just changing the color from here so i want to change that black color and the text color will be white color if i'm hovering so you can see that the black color is the background and text color is white that's it the, to change the all things so that's it and then click on these images to change the images that's either had there's such a way to change the images then you can see that if i'm hovering on the any section so it is not any animations or motion effects so how to create that just click on this column and go to the reference tab and go to the motion effects and this is the motion effects here you can see so if i just click on this fade in right so it will come from right 
so just put in left is fine and then just if you just click on this column and go to the advanced sections motion effects and i'm just choosing fade in left because it comes from left will be good and then this so motion effects and then fade in right so it will look more good then this is also but uh, this is also you can have you can see this is a when if i'm hovering so it will just uh, drag into the up so just go to the column sections and go to the next time motion effects and this is fade in right and go to the columns go to the advanced sections motion effects and just fade in right sorry fade in left it is a tablet view i'll show you the how to responsive it so tablet view and then this is review us so just click on this section and go to the advanced and motion effects and this is the fade in up because it is mid lines and then again go to the advanced tab and motion effects and this is fade in left sorry fade in left and then again this images so put the motion sections and this is the fade in right that's it and then this type of sections so just click on this column separate column motion effect and fade in left and click on this section and go to the advanced tab and this is the motion effects so motion effects will be fade in right and this is the two column sections so click on this column and go to the advanced tab and go to the motion effects and fade in up choose fade in up and then again choose fade in up so it will looks more good because it is comes from left it is comes from right and this is the up up so that's it then again click on this go to the advanced sections and this is the fade in up because it is mid lines and this is again here you can just add anything i do not repeat again so just update it after update this page so here you'll see all the effects you can see here just if i'm just scrolling down here you can see this is the comes from light right and left and this up everything just cool amazing way that's it so here now i'm just let me show you how to just create this type of jump over section of which i'm just show you how to in the previous six so how to just change this to create that at first just click on this section go to the advanced tab here you can see this is the css id so we have to just create a css id in here um, which i'm just text and copy it and paste it in the home link home in the menu link so how to create that i'm um, let me show you this is the go to the dashboard and go to the menu then again you can see here this is the service section this is the who we are means about the sections so at first go to the who we are this type of sections and then again just copy this link this is the links and just copy also this link this name sorry don't want to call the copy don't need this so just copy this only link and then again and just removing this and just adding one custom link and paste this link page link and then again just write who we are this is the just menu this is the text name and then just drag and drop it here then just increase it and here you can see this is the url here is the url so it is the navigation menu so here you can see that i mean i don't know that i want to i want that if i just click on this home and then again if i i want to add this one button here then again if i click on this then i will redirect to the this who here this is the about us page so how to create that at first just click on just copy this link and then again just a claim just create a button here so i just it is already created a button here it is already created so i'm just copying this and just placing on inner section here and duplicate it and paste it here I pasted the button here you can see then just alignment given center then click on this and here is the link just paste the page link here and then update it don't want to load this page and then again just go to this previous page main page and just here you can see this is the page so in this section so in this in this section we want to create a css id just click on this and then again just write one css id that means one about us about us so then just copy it so then just i'm giving underscore 
and then again just copy it so just copy it and go to the menu and here is the URL so giving the hash right hash then write this type of this about us text which I will give in the I mean add this section section add go to the advanced sense in the CSID that's the same it is the name just import them this is the important just go just write the same name here so just save the menu and here is also update this page then if you just load this page here you can see this is the buttons if I click on this no more button so we will redirect to the this type of who we are means about us page then again if I just click on this who are we, we are button so it will smooth jump over this section that you want that that's right so just again and again I don't want to repeat again this type of for the service here get at get in touch just that you want to add your wish you place the links and CSID from here so that's it and then just I'm show you I'll show you at the forms so if you just click on this get in touch means contact us then you can see that this type of form so how to create just edit that here you can see this type of w forms after just importing the template here you can see this are w forms just click on this all forms so this is the inquiry form here click on this so w form is starting and here you can see this is the w forms so just click on this and go to the advanced tab so this is the field size here you can edit all the things and customize so that's sorry this is the pro version you want to just this is the here is all it's the free version you don't want that the pro that's it and then you can just change your contact number and the, this that this type of text just you can change it from here if you're just editing this here you can see the live edit so i don't want to delete so just that and then just save it so it will update it if you want to just want a just phone number anything the here is in just phone number also so if you just want a email so how to just add that add fields and then here you can see this is the email so just place it drag and drop it here here it is came so this is the email so just click on this and go to the advanced tab and placeholder text if you would just write type your email sorry this is big text type your email here you can just add this type of text here so i'm just saving it after I load this page here you can see the all changes so i'm just adding one email so it is added and then this is the page name everything just you want to change so it is all images and everything and then you can see this is the contact button and this is the maps everything so i'll show you in the video that's the video i'll just show you how to just create a paid shop website within 10 minutes at fastly without any just coding language or any elementary experience wordpress experience anything you just don't want to need anything just buy a domain and hosting and just and from installing elementor use the free plugins that's called starter templates and just enjoy this website that's it and don't forget want to forget download the elementor from the description and if you want to just more videos like this so please comment down as your topic or wish i will make try to make the topics and then just see you in the next video till then bye bye and thanks for watching